Uh, in this episode, I'll demonstrate how to update the existing data in database. I think we can just replicate this. I'll call this update data. Uh, instead of update, we'll use, uh, instead of insert, we'll use this. Um, we'll say update. Update this table and we'll set, uh, we'll specify set. That will be the, you know, like the field you want to update. Let's say we want to update the amount uh, to, let's say, um, one, two, three, four, five, something like this, uh, where you can specify the criteria where, let's say, uh, Date is equal to, let's try to see the existing data. Let's say we want to update this particular field. So where uh, customer ID is equal to this, this and the date is equal to May 12th. So update this table, set the value, uh, this value to amount field where the customer ID, I think the name is correct, where customer ID is equal to this, pomai dash two, and the date is this. We can just comment this down for now. So open a connection. Uh, Using this connection, we'll open up this query and we'll execute it here. And let's add a quick button here. Let's call this update. Oops, that's my fault. Uppercase. F5. So the value has been updated one two three four five five six point three three. So that's the value we specified. Yeah. Now uh, we can also you know add parameters in this fashion. Uh, example. Most of the time when we are writing these uh, in VBA, uh, we normally do in this fashion um, by specifying, okay, variable amount, something like that. So if I say dim amount as double, and we can specify, let's say this is the value, uh, we can also write in this fashion. Or we can also uh, do uh, in this fashion as well. Yeah. So uh, here we can specify that um, amount, and then um, even the criteria can be at at client, and this can be at amount. In the same fashion we did earlier. You can write in this fashion as well, and then you pass in the parameters value from here. Okay, so you can write in this fashion as well, this as well, and in this fashion as well. So update this transaction table amount will be this uh, placeholder parameter value. This will be our conditions. Um, so for the same date, we want to set the value to this value now. This is five. Um, okay, type mismatch. 
Okay, that's my bad. So T day. Okay, sorry, it's my bad. This will be T day, and this will be CLT, and amount is here. Okay, let's try to reload this. Refresh F5. Looks like it didn't update. Let's give me one second. Is this amount? Customer ID is at okay. Just reloading this. Parameter name was not correct. Looks like I'm still missing out something. Okay, I think this is not how we add it for the the update query. Uh, we'll have to use. Uh, Add with value, and then we'll directly specify the value here. Okay. Um, so similarly, we'll do it here, and we'll plug in the value there itself. That with value, and I'm gonna line these parameters as well with the uh, zero code. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, so it looks like it get got updated now. Uh, we'll give it one more try. Okay, so now it, it is working. Okay, so a couple of things before we wind up this video. Um, now we are executing, you know, using non-query. And then this parameter seems like it does not understand the name of these parameters. So only when I align this, you know, parameters, it seems to work. Uh, this works with uh, when we are reading the data. Um, so yeah, that will be pretty much it. In the next video, we will try and uh, try to use the delete query to delete the data.